Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip we're going to take a look to angles in trigonometry. So what is different in trigonometry than probably geometry? Yeah, we do have angles like this, you see. The only difference, we now arrange the angle in what is called standard position. Where what do we have? We have an initial sign, this one and a terminal side, this one, okay? Initial side is on x-axis and the terminal side can be anywhere. But again, this is very important for, for us. Initial side on the x-axis, terminal side can be anywhere. Two more things, if you notice, counterclockwise, right? This guy, let's say this one has a measure of I'm going to estimate like a 135 degree, I will say. And what about this one? This one will be a negative, negative 225 degree, I will say. I'm sorry, negative 135 degree. Let me say something. Okay, so counterclockwise and clockwise. So let's take a look on this two problem. Number one. We need to sketch an angle that is 40 degree. Remember, initial side always on the x-axis, and that's kind of 40 degree angle. Maybe it's less than 40 degree, but for sure is in quadrant one how we call it. This is quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. So what do we think about number two? So again, if this is the initial side, 60 degrees, 60 degrees should be something like this, still in quadrant one. What about number three? Number three, again, initial side, here on the x-axis, negative 50. That means we're going to go this way, right? Clockwise, something like this. This will be quadrant 4. A negative 50 degree angle is in quadrant 4. What about number 4? Mm, so again, this is the initial side, 70 degree, probably something like that, still in quadrant 4. What about an angle like negative 240? Degree. Right. Let's let's try to see how that works. Again, we're gonna start with the initial side right here, and then this one will be negative 90, negative 180. So negative 240 should be somewhere here. This is an angle that hopefully it's close to negative 240. I would say it's negative 240 degrees is in quadrant two. What about number six? Number six, right? Again, initial sign, this one, negative 100. Okay, the same story. This is negative 90, so I should go 10 more degrees. This can be something like negative 100 degree. This is quadrant three, okay? Ladies and gentlemen. Now let's go to the next concept that is very important in trigonometry and is connected to angles. Co-terminal angles. Two angles in a standard position that have the same terminal side. Okay, there you go. You have here an example of two uh, co-terminal angles. So if this one, let's say, if you remember, I said 135 degrees. This one will be, what do you think? Negative 225 degree. These two angles are co-terminal angles. But I would like to emphasize something else. You may have a different situation. Okay, let's say we have an angle that is 60 degree. All right, something like this, 60 degree. I'm going to show you a co-terminal angle, right, look at here, 
this will be a core terminal angle. Okay, this there is gonna have the same initial side. You see, I start from there from the same terminal side. How much is that? Um, 420, right? Three, 360 plus 60 degrees. So we can have a bunch of core terminal angle. So let's see some example here. Find the measure of an angle between 0 and 360. Core terminal, core terminal of each given angle. So how do I find this core terminal angle for 390? Very simple. Subtract 360 and that will be 30 degree. Yeah, 30 degree and 390 are core terminal angles. What about number 8? 410. If in your mind is subtract 360, then excellent, you're gonna get 50 degree. 50 degree and 410 core terminal angles. What about 550? 550. Let's subtract 360 to see how much we get. Okay, if we subtract 360, we get what? 0, 9, 190. We're good. It's between 0 and 360. This is a coterminal angle. The same story for 490, right? 490 minus 360 is going to be 130. Coterminal angles. And if you want to sketch them, you can sketch them. Well, let's take a look to this situation. Negative 420. Okay, in this case, you don't want to subtract, right? 360, because then you get to a lot, to a less number than negative 420. We're going to go to a number between 0 and 360. So we're going to add 360. So let's see what we get. If we add 360, we get negative 60 degree. And if we look here, hmm, we still need to do something. What? Add another 360, and we're gonna get 300 degree. Now, this 300 degree is between zero and 360. These two angles are co-terminal angles. So sometimes you're gonna have to add more than once 360, or in other words, add a multiple of 360 in order to get what we call co-terminal angle. Let's take a look to number 12, negative 210. Again, I'm going to add 360, I'm going to get 150. And in this case, we're done. These two angles are co-terminal angles. Now, let's take a look to the last two examples, negative 750. And on this one, I'm going to try to think, hmm, how can I go to between 0 and 360? I need to add up either 360 multiple times or a multiple of 360. And I'm thinking here, what should I add? Hmm, 720 is not good enough, right? It's a multiple of 360. I'm going to add uh, 3 times 360, which is 1080. So what do we get here? 0, 3, 330 degree. 330 degree is a co-terminal angle for negative 750. Okay, if you do not see that 1080, you may want to add 360, 360, 360 until you get to a value that is between 0 and 360. What about 1110? Okay, so let's see you do not see how many 360, how, what multiple of 360 we want to add. So we're going to track 360. What do we get here? 0, 5, 750 degree, right? Hmm. I need to subtract another 360, or some of you may see I can subtract a multiple of 360 only once. Eh, let's say I'm going to subtract 360. What do I get here? 0, 9, 390. And therefore, I'm going to subtract one more time, 360 degrees, and what do I get? I get 30 degrees. Well, 1,110 and 30 degrees are co-terminal angles. 
Why do we need these uh, coterminal angles? Because it's whenever you want to evaluate sine and cosine of angle like this, you're going to use the coterminal angles. It's going to be a lot easier to do sine or cosine of negative 750 by looking to the coterminal angle of 330 using the unit cycle. If you enjoyed this video clip, uh, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.